Matt Shane is an MSU researcher. He's always got his eyes peeled for new ways to recycle and be green. One day, Matt got a potentially great idea from an unexpected end of his research. Well, one of my jobs with Michigan State University Extension working with livestock producers is to deal with issues like manure management. You can probably guess this didn't necessarily have the sweet smell of success right off the bat. No, no, it was kind of, kind of shocking that we were thinking about it. Turns out that what's in the bottom of the horse stalls is mostly wood, along with some other stuff. It gave Matt an idea. Well, what about the horse industry? There's a lot of wood-based horse bedding, whereas other livestock industries might use more straw. So in the case of the horse industry, it's a wood-based bedding. Would it be possible to use that material here at this plant? And uh, after, uh, after a bit of testing and research, it, it came through. So now a lot of wood-based horse bedding is turned into electric power. Bloomfield Open Hunt is a surprisingly picturesque horse operation outside of Detroit. They used to pay a trash removal company a lot of money to haul away their stall waste. Now they clear out the stalls, pile up the contents, and the trucks from Mid-Michigan Recycling scoop it up and carry it away. We like it. I mean, that was one of the reasons why it was brought to us by our membership, um, because we do try to go as much green. We do a lot of recycling here all through the club. And so whatever we can do to, to make it more green, um, our membership was real excited to participate in. And rather than heading to the landfill, this stuff heads to the power plant. Most farms would be paying um, a significant amount of money to get rid of this material normally and having this option that's a much lower cost uh, and environmentally friendly way to recycle this material is just a win-win for everybody. Once here, and this is pretty cool, the whole truck backs up onto this, um, this thing. It's a whole truck tipper. Generally the truck and trailer can fit on there and uh, it basically raises it up. I believe it's about a 60 degree angle. Uh, the wood comes out and the uh, truck comes down and he's on his way back out the door. So essentially what happens is uh, the material's brought to the um, plant here, it's dumped, and it's piled up and it's blended with the other tree waste material and then it's, it's burned uh, to gener ultimately generate electricity. It's basically burnt, the boilers, walls are filled with water, there's tubes up in the ceiling of the boiler. It's all superheating that steam which uh, turns the turbine which in turn creates electricity. The main thing is that it's recycling. It's a, it's a green power plant. We're carbon neutral. Uh, there's nothing that could be said bad about that. We don't usually think of this part of Michigan as horse country. Apparently, we should. There's approximately 155,000 horses in Michigan, and the vast majority of them are located within 100 miles of this plant. And they all, for the most part, use wood-based bedding. So this is a perfect fit to have another option for them to do manure management and continue to have the farms in these more urban and suburban areas. Matt says it's also a perfect fit for MSU, totally in keeping with the mission to making a difference and being, well, being green. MSU is, is looking for solutions. They were a research-based institution. Extension is a, the outreach arm of that. And so, uh, one of, again, one of the issues that I work on a lot of my time is manure management on these farms. And so I'm really looking at it from the livestock environmental side of things, not necessarily from the alternative energy thing, but that's also a primary focus of MSU Extension and, and MSU's research in general. So uh, it's, a, it's a perfectly natural fit to have MSU involved in a project that is taking the agricultural economy with the bioeconomy and putting those two things together to make them work. This is a big effort. It's hard for them to say just how much they're saving by recycling this wood, but the raw numbers are pretty impressive. If you look at the amount of material, we conservatively estimate if, if all horse farms use wood-based bedding and you take sort of an average utilization of how much wood um, would go into that, we figure there's um, up to two million cubic yards of material um, that would be generated. Now, we can't capture all of that here, and some of it does, as I mentioned, go to other, um, other uses, but it's a, it's a huge um, impact to the industry if you don't have any place where that can go um, feasibly. So the next time you turn on a light or the TV to watch our show, think about the fact that it might just be happening with the help of a different kind of horsepower.